That sounds like moths. This is the different angle, isn't it? Aha! Right. Yeah, that sounds like moths. But where they are, I don't know. They're just out of sight. Right. Okay. That's that back on. I assume it's going to stay on, which is possibly a bold assumption. I've got very red on this camera. All right, let's pick up some more juice. further down here oh that's a blocked door okay I can hear you moths So now we can follow the... Yes, it's on. Oh, shit. Looks like both retention tanks are closed off. Maybe I could get down there and open them manually. Okay, so... Okay. I can probably get to the first tank. Yeah. Oh, great. Grateful. If not for me, not for me, where would you be? What would you be? Burnt, charged, scorched, dead. You owe me! Unfortunately, the the stealthy sections, such as they are, have not really been. The most enjoyable sections of the game. That's how we're going to get back. Right. I'm so glad you're here. Lovers. Not enough. Never enough. Never fall. Never walk. Oh, he's up there. And her old, worn-out rag. 
You cut from the same cloth. Is he talking about Lily or is he talking about the mom? Right. As expected, it can only take a bit. Um. like I've done a puzzle like this before. Did, did he disappear? Is he just here to to do exposition? To, to raise our sense of tension even though he's not actually going to do anything? Because he's not really sticking around. Shit. The valve is missing. Please be around, valve. Where's the Ah There it is well, That's it Second tank ready for duty Also my way out once I dry it up a bit gotcha okay so we're gonna head back upstairs Moore's gonna say something exciting pretty pretty girl outs so many dolls to play with such pretty things to wear Lillian, Francis, Nurse Ursula. She was insatiable. And him, the only one to get away. But they don't last. They never last. But you will. Won't you? Hmm. 
There we go. I got really confused for a second as to where we were. Okay. So now we can... Stick that in there. Yes. The central chamber is open. Get your ass down there, Marianne. You made it through the pump station. Except that we haven't yet, really, have we? Because obviously Moore's going to have something to say about this. In terms of the the storytelling, I feel like they are laboring it a little bit thick with the who is more. I, I wonder actually if they can pay it off. Oh, good. Cold. No more shame. Never again. Let them look. Let them see. Let them know. Let them feel our pain. So, is he just going to stand there? So he's not just going to stand there. It's weird. We've got a, an odd context prompt. So we need to open this door. How on earth? Mine! Right, let's just see. Is he going to move? It all ends in me. Okay, so he's just going to run straight to us. And naturally, we're going to have to watch this cutscene each time. Yeah, see, that that's not good design. I don't need to see this every time if you if you're just gonna have you know a, a can we back out mine let me get back here. It all ends in me. Oh, I see. It all Ugh. ends in me. Oh, man. So. 
so we run away and then when we get far enough away we we bug out i don't need to see this every time Did they not think, oh, does the player really need to... Let me get back here. It all ends in me. No, come back. Come back. Okay. Don't really know what we did there. So is this taking us? Thomas. You are here. I can feel it. Is, is this taking us down to like Project Gemini? Was that where this was? Here's what I think I know. The powers come from the same place, but they can manifest in different ways. She seems to exist in both places, if, as if her mind can inhabit two bodies at the same time. To her, whatever happens in one place affects the other. Does she see the line between the two, or are they one and the same? New hypothesis. Death thins out the veil between worlds so that a newborn mind never has to split. Makes sense. In a weird fucked up way. So did we essentially die? And that's the whole coma thing. Hey, I know this one. Used to be one of my favorites. It, it seems to be spending a lot of time focusing on the nature of the powers now. Neuroleptics, antidepressants, even by my standards, that's a lot of pills. So is that what Thomas was taking? Also, I'm under no impressions that the moor's gone. No, don't do this to me. Burnt to a crisp. Guess I should look for a spare. Shocking. <laughs> Electricity pun. Um. It's clearly going to be in the other room because we'd uh, looked at everything in here. But it has opened the door. Because that wasn't open before. Lots of tightly confined corridors. Ah, oh, yes. Oh. Busted open. From the inside. This was definitely Lily's place. Where he kept her. So this was where more broke out from. Salt. Who knew it was that simple? A bit of alchemy, some spiritual infusion, and there you have it. Looks like the folk tales are true after all. Anyway, the room is ready and it works. It actually works. For the first time in my life, I can feel alone. Feels fucking wonderful. So this is Thomas. Free of that's more there in the butterflies.
Ugh, dolls. Quite the selection. So she could doll herself up with no one to see her. Maybe he meant well, but somehow this just feels sadistic. So was he locking her away because he feared the voice? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. She'd be a grown woman by now, but the room is still all dolls and unicorns. Little windows into the world. It's something, I guess. Sunshine doesn't really translate to text, though. Hmm. Again with the salt. The whole room is lined with it. Keeps out the more. Imagine being locked up in this place, having a needle shoved into your arm. So do you out. You didn't deserve this, Lily. Sodium chloride is salt, isn't it? So she was getting kind of, she was mainlining saline, essentially. So the fire. The fire released something inside Lily. Something not good. And after that, Thomas took... Well, Thomas took us to hospital. Took Marianne to hospital, where she was in a coma. Split them up. Kept Lily in here because he recognised that there was something horrific inside of her trying to get out. Right, this is just going to be a power gauge puzzle. I can do those eventually. To be fair, it usually takes me longer than that. Nice decor. Very uh, minimalist. This is the place that we are in for the cutscene bits. Hmm. If I find enough pieces, I might be able to get to the other side. Better get to it, Alice. Yeah, so it... Huh. Mold. It looks pretty fresh. So, is it Thomas that Someone's we've been talking about? No. recently. That wouldn't make sense. Is it... I suppose it could be Lily that we're talking to? Okay. Here's one. So far, so good. Fix the broken mirror. I'm, I'm very much enjoying the... The train of thought that I'm, that I'm on. Even though there's not really much of a game here, in terms of, oh yeah, there's loads of gameplay. Um, the story is intriguing enough. But I suspect a lot of people will say, oh, you know, whatever. It's quiet now. Just me and her. Just me and her. It feels strange, but in a good way. How it should be. I best enjoy it while, it's la while it lasts. Already started moving the workshop over to the hotel. If anything happens, I don't want her anywhere near it. I'm going in soon to get him back. It only ends in one of two ways. Either both of us are coming back, or neither. So... Spirit Thomas, I'm assuming it's 
that's the him that he's talking about. He's got separated somehow. But yeah, the, the, the just me and her, just me and her is implying that Spirit Thomas isn't here. Okay. So I assume the other mirror pieces are going to be... ...in places that we'd already been to? Maybe not. Ah, a shower room. There, another one. And it really is about time we had a jump scare. Looks like he could never quite let go of his passion. In another life, perhaps. History of architecture. She almost saw me today. Sensed me. I should have known. I need to be more careful. Keep my distance. That day goes by that I don't think of her. Ah, so this is us. A day goes by that I don't think of her. I know I did the right thing, leaving her at the hospital. It's better this way. She's better this way. But I keep thinking of that day. When it finally happens, when she discovers what she really is, she'll be confused, afraid. I should be there for her, to help her make sense of it all, to tell her it's all right. No, she'll make it through. She's strong, just like her mother. No comment, Marianne? Jack, don't. Oh, don't phone. So we ended up in the foster system because we were abandoned at the hospital having woken up from a coma. They didn't know what to tell us. This should be enough. Let's make magic happen. This was definitely Thomas's workspace. I can sense the determination. Whatever he was working on, he really gave it his all. Were you trying to send the monster away? Or to get your other self back? Hmm. Hypothesis. When experiencing trauma, the soul can split into the t into two separate entities in order to mitigate the damage. Observation: the entities can remain agreeable or turn hostile towards each other. How to destroy one without destroying the other? So the implication there is that Thomas experienced some form of trauma when he was young, which split his. Um, soul into Spirit Thomas and Normal Thomas. Um, and they were at odds in, in snarkiness. We got split, but our, we're basically in sync. And Lillianne, 
she's got her and she's got more i guess so he was trying to figure out could he destroy more without destroying his daughter in the process And is there really any way of, of doing that now because of maybe it's us, maybe it's the other part of us that we're talking to. And mirror mirror was. on the wall. The moment we finally met. There we go. Oh, Spirit Thomas. Wait. You're the other one. The spirit. But the hound. I thought you were gone. Gone. No, no. Trapped. I, I spent years in Henry's fucked up world wow the the oh, volume is all ah, over the place never. when you when you sent him away i could i could finally break free that's why you're so important you can finish this where is he where is my father? I, I don't know. I... Um, for the first time in my life, I... I, I don't feel his presence. I, so could he be dead or away for so long? <sighs> could you? This is where the narrative frame comes in. For a moment. Tell me uh, how from all this started. Why does he not know? Yeah, see, we've only seen the top side of this before. It all starts with a dead girl. Red's black. Father, no, he couldn't have. 
He wouldn't. He loved her too much. Both of you. It's weird how much calmer spirit Thomas seems now than he was. So, what happened to her? What is this place? This is where he kept her. That cell back there. It only exists in one world. It keeps the other one out. He built it so that he could be alone. His voice is mixed too quietly. Separated from his powers. From me. Came in handy once Lily became unstable. Unstable? What do you mean? She's a medium too, Marianne. A powerful one. But she can't it's control it. Family. When Richard... When Richard hurt her... It awoke something inside her. That's a cool... Something... Shot. Something terrible. And it was only a matter of time before it got out. Yeah, what so, your father feared. So more is the other side of her. He tried to avoid. That's why he called me. But that means Yes. She's still alive. There's still a way to save her. But oh. we'll have to find her, Marianne. Where is she? Where is my sister? But, 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 what a sadness there. I'm not leaving you. Or sadness and more two halves of the same. He's pushed us out of his world. That's right. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.